Hey, what's up everybody, I'm Naughty Llama, and I've got a gameplay of some uh, Black Ops 2 kill confirmed on the map raid here, which I just joined a little bit late, as you can see, or no, I guess it just started, it's 2 to 3, so um, I'm going to use the PDW here, which I just prestiged again, so I really had nothing on, I don't know if I prestiged in this game, or, um, yeah, I think I did prestige in this game, because I ended up uh, using my prestige unlock to get the orbital VSAT, since uh, I didn't want to waste it on canines, because having canines without the VSAT would be pretty hard to get for me. So uh, the Lodestar you unlocked at a pretty low level, so I have the UAV, the uh, Orbital VSAT, and the uh, Lodestar as my kill streaks. And I think I get a Lodestar at the end here, which it does pretty decent. Uh, not that good on this map, it's good on some maps, and the, then some other maps it's just terrible. But I really wish you could change your kill streaks up again for each class, but they won't add that in. I think I don't think you can add that into the game once it's already like been coded and stuff. But uh, what I wanted to talk about is, um, I think everyone's seen this already, but... If anyone doesn't know who Alex Jones is, he has um, a radio show. I'll link his YouTube channel in the info. It's kind of a lot of conspiracies, government conspiracies and stuff on like false flag terrorism, which a lot of them are true. They're not all conspiracies. But uh, the guy, I don't know if anyone's seen him on Piers Morgan or not. If, if you haven't, I'm going to put the link in the info because he, he went absolutely crazy. Um, his stats and stuff were really right, but he's just insane. Like... Uh, I don't know, man. If I, I watched it, and like, if he would have stayed calm and talked about what he did, he would have come off really rational and be like, "Oh, that guy's got really good points, and uh, he's making sense about everything about gun laws." But he just <laughs> he came off like he was fucking crazy, like just screaming and stuff, which is uh, kind of funny. Um, I don't know, uh, but some of the stuff he was saying about gun laws, which I mean, I don't know. I don't have any guns. I don't think people should be owning assault rifles, anyways. But uh, just to take him from people is ridiculous, and then there was a law put in place. I forget the woman, I think she was in the Senate or the Congress, but she, what she wanted to do was have a buyback program where if you have an assault rifle, you would have to go register it, and then the government would either take it off of you, or if you're allowed to have it, you could have like special magazines, like I think it was 10 clip magazines instead of the full capacity ones. Then you would have to pay again to register that. You'd have to be put in a database where anybody can go in and see what guns you own, and then you would have to like repurchase the gun or purchase a new license, something retarded. So, um... <laughs> You know what Alex Jones was saying? They were like, you know, there's, uh, ele I think it was 11,000 deaths in the U.S. every year from gun or from, yeah, from guns and stuff, and there was only, like, 40 in Britain, and they were like, well, if you take that new account, uh, out of the 11,000 deaths from guns, 8,000 of those are from law enforcement, and then 70% of what is left, the two or 3,000, are gang-related crimes, and um, I think it was only, like, 4% were from assault rifles and stuff, so the majority of the deaths are from handguns and things like that. It's not from... Right from these assault rifles, and Piers Morgan just kept getting into like these small details, like, well, England only has 35, uh, that's a horrible British accent, he was like, you know, they only have like, like 35 gun murders a year, and he was like, well, yeah, guns are illegal there, of course you're not gonna have any, you have more, more violence than any other country, your violence is, tr I think it was like tripled over the last couple years, cause uh, there's just gonna be stabbings and stuff, cause if people know you don't have a gun to protect yourself, they're gonna rob you easier, if somebody wants to rob you and they're like, Oh shit, I better not do that, because the guy could have a gun and he could kill me if I try to do this. So, um, yeah, of course, I think there's going to be more violent crimes. And I mean, if you're going to die, I, I would probably rather get shot than stabbed to death. I think that would be a much uh, easier way to die, <laughs> less painful and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And then I think Chicago guns are actually illegal, and they have the highest crime rate out of any city in the U.S. So that shows making guns illegal isn't... What's going to fix the problem? What's going to fix it? You need better mental health checks and stuff like that for people. If you're taking antidepressant medicines or any of these medicines like Zoloft that have crazy side effects, you shouldn't be allowed to uh, own guns with those. I mean, that's what it is because those are, they're fine for normal people if you're on them, but if you're one of the people who have a mental disorder and you're on Zoloft and you own guns, it's not a good combination. Like all these, uh, all these school shooters are on prescription pills and prescription pills aren't bad themselves. It's just when people have psychological disorders they're not a good mix at all especially with guns like that uh sandy hook guy the shooter for that uh elementary school he tried to buy guns like four, on four or five separate occasions in the final month before that shooting happened and he couldn't so his mom had a bunch of assault rifles because i guess she was crazy too she thought the world was going to end on uh, december 21st she was stocking up so that is a uh, horrible parenting she's retarded if you have guns you shouldn't I don't know, you shouldn't, like, leave them out. I don't know if they, they had ammo in them or not. Usually people lock their guns up and keep their ammo in a different, uh, a different, like, gun safe or something. But why would you just leave guns out? It's freaking weird and not lock them. Uh, 
So that's part bad parenting, but what's everyone else think? I know this is a weird video, but I just wanted to put something out on gun control or whatever, because I just tried to make a video, and, like, I literally had nothing to talk about. I got, like, four minutes into it, and was like, alright, this is awful. <laughs> no one's gonna watch this. So I thought I would do this video, so... Like I said, if you didn't see the video with Alex Jones on Piers Morgan, the link is in the info. It's pretty funny. Um, how's everyone think he came across? I mean, if he didn't scream like a raving lunatic, I thought his points were really good, but the fact that he screams so much just makes him come off like he's a crazy guy, and uh, it's going to make gun enthusiasts look bad, too, when you have that. But, uh, yeah, what do we got here? Like, five tags left. Let me see how much longer is in this video. Oh, uh, like, 50 seconds. So, um... Yeah, I just went around. I've been playing a lot of Kill Confirmed in this game the uh, last couple days, which um, is funner than TDM. I guess my game ended there, but uh, yeah, I'm having a lot more fun with it than TDM. Uh, I don't know, I, th I, I have fun when I get high kill or, yeah, high kill streaks. When I play TDM, I gotta run all low stuff, because it takes forever to get them, so Kill Confirmed is easier to get the high score streak, so I like doing that, so that's what I'm gonna be playing for a while. Uh, anyways, final score was 35 uh, kills, 4 deaths, and 20 confirmed, so... That's it, guys. Uh, also, it looks like Andrew McCutcheon is going to get the uh, cover MLB The Show 13, which will be nice. So, uh, all right, bye.